Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extremely beautiful family, just thank you so much for embracing your gifts, looking more into it because you might end up having more gifts that you were not aware of and just being able to educate yourself on things from the unknown is a great blessing. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. If you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback or the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video just gave you good vibes or good information that you really feel that another empath needs to hear at that time, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your, your uh, social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for stopping by the channel and showing me love and support, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Um, let's see. This medical meditation video that I'm listening to my phone getting unstuck uh, is called nine, 396 Hertz cleanses fear, negative energy, and stops stress and negativity. And I'll be posting that link in the description box below. And today my video is about um, Heoka, a Twin Flame 101 Heoka is no stopping that new door to great blessings. Yeah, you know, it's just like when we're heading towards something, like I said the other uh, in my last video, when you're heading towards blessings, you know, you, you probably see the synchronicities, you probably see the numbers. If you're like me, you look up on things. You know, I'm very curious about things. I always investigate stuff when I know, especially when I'm going through different shifts or different changes or, you know, when uh, spirit guides tell me, hey, you need to go look up on this, you know, because I'm starting my own you know, I'm doing more motivational speaking. So it's just like I try to cover so many different things that I know we're going through. Or when I see visions about certain things that we were heading towards our way, you know, you know there's things coming towards you. You just don't know what it is. Because it's like, if, if it's like we knew what it was, it'll kind of like take away from the cliffhanger, you know, because you, if you already know what's coming on, you know, coming towards your way, it's like, oh, okay, this is coming. So, all right. But it's just like they want us to be able to prepare ourselves. They want us to learn more about ourselves, more, more, learn more about others. And so when you're heading towards that beautiful blessing, it, it's like darkness will try to stop that door from opening for you. You're not going to allow that. You know, even though you might get at that point where you're like, oh, I give up. I'm tired of going through this. Sometimes we self sabotage ourselves by things we're, you know, we're not supposed to do, we end up doing anyway. You know, keep on going through the negative patterns being doubtful putting pushing stuff out to the universe because there's times you know i get upset with universe because they keep on saying you know beautiful things are coming towards your way beautiful things are coming towards your way and you know you, you have to be able to be grateful for the little things that come in into your life like i'm very grateful for things like that but i get aggravated because i always tell my friends like oh i push out so many different things and it's not like i'm doing it for looking for something in return but i just feel like why do I push out so much positivity and I only got, you know, get a little back? Even though I say I'm grateful for like five or six things every morning, you know, even before I go to bed, I say the same thing, you know, uh, pushing out to the universe. I'm grateful, you know, grateful that you got me through this day, even though it might have been hellish. My attitude turned around for it. So I'm grateful for that, that you gave me strength to get through this day, you know, because we go through so many different changes as being in past and we go through so much, especially as being hell, because it's just like when they're telling me. You know, usually I do a variety of different videos from uh, Twin Flames to Hayokas to uh, Wiccans and stuff like that. But they're telling me I got to stay on this Hayoka thing for a while. And, you know, every once in a while I'll switch up and do, you know, uh, Twin Flame videos or whatever. I need to start doing some more, you know, Wiccans. But I haven't really got anything, you know, towards that vision towards that. It's just uh, all the different gifts that I'm having is just enhancing. It's just the more that I'm embracing with it and not denying myself of that when you're open and not, you know, trying to resist it, there's more messages that comes your way. You know, when you're trying to feed 
into something like you're not sure like the other day they told me I had to take a break because it was like instead of you know trying to find problems to solve I'm not just looking at the solution within myself you know not loving myself all the way and I got aggravated because I'm like yes I am loving myself but then I have to look at there are certain parts of me that I'm really aggravated with so they're like okay so you're not loving yourself because there's so many there's different things that you love about yourself but yet there are certain things that you you're you're insecure about so yeah I'm learning more about that every day I have to be able to love myself from every aspect nobody's perfect you know, I get frustrated with myself because since I stopped smoking, um, don't have glasses of wine, I substitute that through energy drinks and candy. So you already know when you're, I'm not that person, that hyper, hyper uh, metabolism, which I wish I still was. But I was like that before I had children. I was tiny. But then since I had children, that went straight out the door. So my, my, my uh, weight just fluctuates. So I get upset about that because I'm poofed up like 10, 20 pounds. Because of the fact is I'm eating candy, but I'm like, how can you get mad about that? Because you already know what, you know, sweets do to you. It makes you, you know, you bloat or whatever. And it's just like you're going through all these different changes. And it's, it's just like when I know, when I accept that things are not going to always be perfect. Um, loving every aspect of myself. Learning, you know, loving the fact that there's beautiful things that's coming towards my way. There's nothing that's going to stop that door from opening, you know. And it's just like, you know when you're heading towards something big because like I've told y'all before people from your past will start coming at you knowing there's those people don't even supposed to be around you you'll be tested from certain things or your weaknesses like there's times I could be on a nature walk and I smell somebody smoking a blunt outside I'm like oh my god it stinks but then I'm like oh my gosh that smells good but it stinks at the same time and I'm like uh-uh I don't want that you know and I'm just like oh you know then I'll get frustrated and I can uh, you know I'm so grateful and I say this a lot, you know, and I know people might laugh at me. I don't care, but, you know, I can actually say when I'm going through stuff where I used to, and I feel so blessed about that. When I go through things, the first thing I would do is want to roll up one. You know, I was like bumping. I'm about to get high. I don't care. You know, it, when, you, when you smoke weed, it, we don't have you caring about nothing else no more. You know, if you've seen any of the Cat Williams stand-ups, you'll know what I'm talking about. When he was just like, you worried about that electric bill after you don't smoke the blunt or two, like, F them lights. I don't care about the lights. I don't know how I'm going to pay that bill, but we'll figure it out later. But now I'm just blessed because I'm able to just say, you know what, you're going to get through this. It's like, this too shall pass. People ask me, I was like, how are you doing today? I'm like, you know, like some of my other extended family, you know, they ask me, I was like, how are you doing? And I'm just like, oh, I was depressed earlier today, but it's going to pass. You know, I know it's just something that I'm going through right now. It's just dealing with too much. And, you know, you can be strong for so long. And it's just like when you're telling, you know, I, I call, call on to the universe, powers that be or whatever, and tell them, you know, give me this strength. Because, I mean, I, I'm trying my darndest to get where I got to get. And I got so many blessings. I said, you have blessed me with so many subscribers that, you know, open up to me when it takes a lot for them to open up. Because I tell people, I don't judge them. I, that's why I'm open with y'all about the things that I used to do. Yes, I used to smoke weed. Yes, I used to drink. Yes, I used to smoke cigarettes. You know, there was a time when I was early in my early 20s, I used to dance. I was an exotic dancer. I never prostituted, you know, or anything like that. I got, you know, evicted from my house. I've had times where I had my car repoed. But that's what I try to tell y'all. I keep it real because, you know, people like somebody who's going to be open with them to let them know, Dag, she had a, you know, a horrible past. But I can still laugh and joke and be open about it because I keep it real. What is, I mean, if you find, you can tell me a person that does not have a past or did some things that they are not proud of, you know, I will praise you. You know, I, I mean, even feel like there's some empaths I've come across that has had a horrible childhood and never smoked, never drank, or never, I don't say, you know what, you're a good one. <laughs> you are a good one. You, God blessed you in so many ways, because I'm telling you, I don't find too many empaths that has not been on some kind of stimulant, you know, on some kind of, they had, they had to, uh have something just to you know deal with all the energy they're having and coping with their you know the, the pain that they're dealing with you know that happened to them personally so it is just a blessing when you can be able to come out of those situations and you know still have it all upstairs you know because i've seen people and it's sad that they have gone through so much and it, it's just like you know some of these uh celebrities you find out 
that they done committed suicide. And when I see the things that they went through, I know they were empaths because they couldn't deal with all the things that was coming at them. So it kept it on constant de- de- uh, depression. Or there were so many symptoms they were dealing with me- mentally or medically. It was just hard for them to deal with. So they just took their own lives. And that's a sad situation. So it's just like when you know you're going towards something, you have to be grateful for the things that you went through because you overcame them. You have to be grateful when you can still put a smile on your face because after you have anxiety and depression, I know more than anybody or, you know, as much as y'all do. Let me just put it that way. Let me retort because I don't want nobody feeling like I'm better than anybody. But you know when you have a person have been through anxiety, been through depression, been having suicidal thoughts, wanting to not wake up in the morning, well enough for them getting out the bed. When you can actually put a smile on your face and say thank you. Even I even ask God, telling him thank you just for putting that smile on my face just for me to be able to help somebody look at their situation in a different light that is a blessing to me so it's just like I want y'all to know my bad times I want y'all to be able to embrace help me embrace my good times you know seeing me I don't like y'all seeing me at my worst but y'all seen me at vulnerable times where you see me cry you know you, you had to be able to see that and Taurus, no, I don't like doing that, you know, because I don't want nobody thinking I want them to feel sorry for me. Because I've seen people on videos, they're like, oh, she just did this because she was trying to get attention. Or, oh, she's just trying to do this to get likes or get views. Or, oh, he's trying to do this to get views or get likes. I I don't (laughs) know. Not me. You know, it's just like when they they say for me, okay, I I don't want to make a video today because I'm really depressed about missing my dad. Or I'm really depressed about missing my mom. You know, and they were like, no, allow them to see that. They need to be able to embrace this side of you and know that you don't have a positive day every day. People go through ups and downs. But when you know you are grateful for the situations, for you being at rock bottom and you had that courage to get back up, that's a true blessing. When you know that you have been, there's times where you did not want to get out the bed. and You are still able to get up and make a little chuckle, make a little laugh, or even try to divert your mind on something that was positive. That's a blessing. When you know you have worked your damnedest and did not give up on yourself, and I'm trying so hard not to get emotional, but you have got to that point where you wanted to give up, you wanted to surrender, but you did not. That's a blessing. When you know when they keep telling you doors are opening for you, it doesn't have to be on a monetary value. When they give tell you about abundance, it doesn't have to be on a monetary value. You having that that sense of peace. That's abundance. You're getting more knowledge about things that you weren't able to know about last week. That's abundance. When you're gravitating towards like-minded people that are going through the same thing as you, that's a blessing. So keep going. Don't ever give up on what you're trying to thrive for. Darkness will come and try to hold that door shut for you, but you just bogart them butts out the way. Tell them you're not going to stop me because I keep going. So you're going to have them naysayers. You're going to have people that are going to probably laugh at the situations that you're thriving for. But people will do that when they can't, when they don't see their own dreams. If they feel like they're not confident in theirs, they will try to tell you you're not going to make it in yours because they couldn't make it in theirs. You're a different person. You're not them. You know, you keep going no matter what people think because people's opinion, people got opinions just like buttholes. We all got them. But their opinions is not paying your bills. Them them opinions are not going to stop you from doing what you need to do. So, because there's so many people that can be that close to their blessings and they give up when they're just right at the door. Don't do that because you got too many things just coming your way. So, nothing can stop that door from opening except for you. So, I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video. I hope you have a blessed, safe weekend. Much love to Avery, much love to Jesse, much love to Jessica, and um, all the rest of you. Much love to y'all. I love y'all. Have a blessed, safe weekend. Be responsible for everything you do at 1414. Um, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Share. Drop me a line. I want to know you know, what you're going through right now and how you're overcoming it. It'll greatly be appreciated, and I'll see you on my next video. Peace and be wild.